Well, government leaders, residents and visitors on Dolphin Island paying close attention to what's happening with this storm. Our Steve Alexander live on the island with the latest on the preparation. Steve, exactly where are you on the island? I'm on the east end of the island, not too far away from Fort Gaines, in fact, right across the street. When word of the tropical storm warning came out, town leaders here immediately started alerting residents and visitors. This was the scene on the west end of Dolphin Island this afternoon, a relatively calm surf. The west end is the part of the island usually most affected by flooding during storms. It is susceptible to getting some saltwater inundation, uh, maybe even sometimes even sand coming across the roads. And, you know, while we shouldn't have any type of uh, structural uh, issues this time, we do want people to be mindful that saltwater can kind of come in quickly and, and compromise vehicles and things of that nature. And so we want to make sure that whether your residents here or visitors here, that you that your vehicles are protected. Already the try the Gulf triathlon scheduled for this coming Saturday has been canceled. You know, they had about 400 people coming from all over the country, and so they needed to make a decision early on, and it's quite unfortunate. Some people we talked to on the island, like Tiffany Robinson visiting from Kentucky, said they were aware of the tropical weather. We've uh, talked with the people we rent from. We may be pulling out first thing tomorrow morning. We were scheduled to leave Saturday, but a shorter day is better, you know, than three days, so we'll take it. Ricky Silver from Georgia is spending a month here and says he's been keeping tabs on the weather because he's looking for good fishing. Catch any fish? Though? I have. I've caught a nice red this morning. I was reeling him in as you pulled up. He's right there in the cooler. Gonna, ha gonna have him for dinner. <laughs> he's gonna be eating well tonight, huh? Well, of course, right now, everybody's just kind of waiting and watching, seeing exactly where the storm will go and seeing exactly how it will impact Dauphin Island. Reporting live from Dolphin Island, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News.